today's learning target is to use signs of spring as inspiration to print letters and sound out words. All right, that sounds like a lot. So let's unpack that and figure out what that means. So to use signs of spring, what's that? What are you thinking of when I say, let's go look for signs of spring. So let's make a little poster. So how about we start with what is the green stuff on the ground that grows that we like to mow? That's right, grass. Okay, so grass is a sign of spring. So we'll start with that. Can you see that? Not at all. All right. Today you're going to need a box of crayons and some paper. Okay, dark green. Way better. What's another thing that um, you might hear lives in a nest and it has wings and tweets? Yeah, a bird. All right, yeah, you guys knew that one. A bird, okay. So I'm going to draw a robin because I've noticed them around lately. So I might look for a bird. What on earth does a bird look like? Eh. And it has like a tail and a belly. There we go, and some little legs, has an orange belly, and boop, boop. Birds, gorgeous. Um, something else, maybe something that lives underneath the grass that the birds like to eat. Liam sent me a picture of some of them in his hands. Yeah, worms, absolutely. So I'm going to draw a little worm under the ground. And there he is. There's our little worm. Another thing we might look for today, maybe something that is a little tiny insect. Sometimes they're black, sometimes they're red. The red ones bite. Ants. Good job. All right. Let's get like a little black crayon for that one. Ants. All right. We're going to look for ants out there. There we go. And they have little legs. All right. Here's our ants. Another thing that we might look for has it's an insect. And it has really pretty wings that are all different colors. A b -b -b butterfly. Let's look for some butterflies today. I saw one yesterday and I was actually pretty surprised. I thought it was too early for butterflies, but I was wrong. So a butterfly has a head and the antenna and the body and then it needs wings. So we can look for them today. There you go. And something else that I don't know if I'm going to find any in my yard, but they grow out of the ground and they've got colorful petals on top and little leaves, flowers. Let's see if we, we might not be able to find an actual flower, but maybe we can find um, the beginning of a flower coming up. So I'm going to draw a flower just so we remember we're looking for them. But I don't know what we're actually going to find up there. And depending on where you are and how sunny your area is, you may or may not find any yet. Some flowers. There's lots of other signs of spring. So we're going to try to find five. Okay, I want you to go try to find five signs of spring. Okay, let's go back to our target. So we are going to use signs of spring, these things, and to inspire us. So what um, does inspiration mean? Well, if someone's going to try to inspire me to print and they just say, why don't you to go print? I'm going to feel like, Bleh. 
I don't feel inspired at all. I don't want to do any printing. Or if I say, we're going to go outside and we're going to look for cool things and we're going to come back and we're going to print and it's going to be awesome. And you're like, yeah, I totally want to do that. You've just been inspired. So we're going to use signs of spring to feel inspired to print letters. You know how to do that. And to sound out words. And we're going to do that part together. Okay, that's our goal today. So you are going to need some crayons, maybe a pencil, and you're going to need a piece of paper so you can draw the things that you see outside. And you're going to need some kind of clipboard. Now, I don't have a clipboard at home. My clipboards are at school. But I had a cereal box, so I cut the side of my cereal box off, and I found a bulldog or just tape. And then we're going to take this outside. So we're going to need probably a baseball cap or some sunglasses, but my sunglasses are all at school too. So hmm. I'm going to need to go find my coat, Fred, coat on, and my runners. And then let's go outside and see what we can find.